Hi, in this video I wanted to show you how this dynamic climbing system is working. It's a community project that you can find on the forum. I will put a link uh, down in the description. So if I hit play, you have this character that has a little dithering on it so you can see through. And you can trace towards this uh, static mesh, which is just a static mesh, it's not an actor, it's a standard static mesh that uses uh, complex collision as simple. So when you find a, a reachable grip, you can see this yellow box and you can press E to grab it with your right hand and if you find another one, like uh, over here, you can press Q to, to grab it with your left hand. And if you press W, your character will start, will start to climb. And if you press S, it will descend. So you can climb the rock like this and find other targets with E and A. First you trace and you, you target where you want to place your, your hands. And then you, you place your hands with A, I mean with Q and E. And you can ascend the rock and of course descend the rock also in the same fashion and if you press where there is no when you don't see this little yellow I mean there is two yellow boxes there is the, the average the average uh, position between the two hands which is this big yellow box and the little yellow box, which is almost green, is actually the preview for where you can place your hand. And as you can see here, I don't have the, the, the green preview, the green yellowish preview box. So that means that this is not a valid grip. So if I press E or A here, I will just uh, remove my hand from my current grip and jump off the wall. So yeah, that's it. So I climbed onto this rock but I can also climb onto let's see like uh, this one can be cool to, to climb onto also uh, like that the cool part is that I have to find uh, reachable grips uh, by myself it's not uh, like it's it's a mechanic where you have to to, to, to think and to see where what will be the, the way that you will take to reach the top of the of the rock so yeah uh, this is uh, the current state I think I will add some more stuff uh, later on like I want to make a uh, a fatigue system where if you stay hanging for a long time, your player will, will, will get tired and eventually fall. I want also to make hazardous rocks, like sliding rocks and uh, uh, rocks that are not really solid, where, where you can, if you, if you put your hands or your, your foot onto, uh, you will eventually fall as well. Uh, for the moment, the, if you look closely, the foot are not really well placed they are here you you can see that they they enter the rock like here directly so i didn't really add a trace for the for the foot to be placed correctly onto the rock so that's something also that i will work on too i will also try to work on the collision with the rock because for now, as you can see, you you get inside of the rock, and also those jitter that you can see here is due to to the limitation of the movement. Because I use IKs to place the hands on the rock, I don't want the 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 hands to to get off the rock because of the the movement that the player will put to the character. So if you move too too much. I will just block the, the movement, but you can see some weird bugs like this for now. And I think it's the same also. Yeah, here, if I try to move 
too much downward you can see that I'm still pressing S to, to descend the rock but I can't because I'm reaching the maximum distance between the right shoulder and the right hand so for the moment it's just the right shoulder and the right hand that is used for the limitation but uh, later on I will also use the, the, the left hand as well I'll also try to, to get a better hanging pose with some several IKs like uh, the fabric IK uh, the CCD IK also can be can, can be cool to play with to have some good results. I can also play with the spline IK to make uh, my spine uh, bending a little bit towards this or this grip. It can be really cool to to to, to procedurally animate. And uh, yeah, so if you want more descriptions about uh, this project and. Uh, and eventually download it and work on it because it's a community project you can you can you, you can feel free to to download it and work on it and add it to your project it's completely free and uh, of course if you can uh, upgrade it and share it with the community it's even better it's it's made for that so i invite you to to follow along with the link down in the description and uh, let's hang out on the on the unreal engine 4 forum and uh, make this project bigger so thank you for watching and uh, see you there